Hey, hey, hey. How are you guys doing? Sorry, I had to grab my coffee. I had to grab my afternoon treat. Hazelnut coffee. <laughs> it's like dessert. Okay. Oh, I'm leaving a lipstick mark on that cup. All right, let me throw my cloth in there. So as you come in, just say hello. My name is Nikki Godwin. I am an independent designer and couturier with Chalk Couture. And I like to come in and share with you guys my tutorials for easy DIY. Hi Haley, how are you? So today we're going, we have been working on Valentine's Day. Today we're gonna switch it up. So if you happen to see the red box right up there, that means that you are catching me live. Feel free to drop your comments in chat. We can talk real time. If that red box is not there, it means you're catching the replay. We can still talk, but I'll just have to comment back to you. But I do check them, so don't worry that I will miss it. I will not, I promise. All right, so let me pull this up so I can see comments because the camera is so far away. Um, so that y'all can see the counter and everything I'm working on that I can't see that far away. I'm blind as a bat. So let me see if I can pull this up here. <coughs> Has Facebook been wonky for anybody else? Because I had to go to a whole different thing today to be able to come on live. So nobody, it just wouldn't work. So, okay, so let's see. Hey Hannah, how are you? Are you feeling better? I didn't, did I, no, did I move my chalk area? I don't think so. I'm at my counter. There's not, I mean, I'm in a camper. There's not too many places you can move about in here. So I'm in the same spot. It just might look different because of the camera angle, but I promise you I'm at the same counter and nothing's different. The back might look different. That's about it. So I fully intended to have my coffee already drank. Oh, it looks different. Am I? I'm fuzzy, aren't I? Like, it's going in and out. I don't know what the deal is. That is just annoying. And I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Usually it's Wi-Fi. Hold on, let me turn the light on. Maybe that's what it is. Let's get, let's get brighter. Let's see. There, we got a little, we got a little light going on. Shed a little light on the situation. All right, so hey Susan, how are you? Okay, so when I went to leadership, I got, um, oh, I'm so glad, I'm sorry you're sore though. Oh, Susan, I gotta get with you, I gotta ask you a question. So when I was at leadership, I got a couple of really awesome um, pre-launch um, goodies while I was there. And one of them that I got were these cute little, um, tr um, Tree. tree cutout would be really cute by the way um ding 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 light just went off squirrel all right so the little house cutout so we're gonna work with that today hey kate okay so i swear i am all over the place today and i'm gonna apologize ahead of time i was on a call right before i got um right before I was going live. So it like threw me all off and everything, but we're gonna get back to it. Hey, Rebecca, how are you beautiful? All right, so I have fallen in love with these little trees. Houses, what is wrong with me? Houses, and so we're gonna work with those today. So I got these, um, Tra this transfer it's a pretty large transfer they cut it down for me so we're gonna talk about all the cute little pieces that I got to go with it now all of these transfers come in a resealable bag on the back of this bag it's gonna give you instructions they're gonna tell you exactly how to peel apply paste or ink remove clean dry and store your transfers so if we're going along and you've ordered something and you can't remember what I said don't panic it's right here on the back of the packaging, and I'm only um, a message away. So just send me a message. I mean, I literally have my phone with me all the time. It's a problem. All right, well, not for me anyway, but for other people it might be. All right, so these little tree, 
Apparently, I'm going to call them trees today. They're houses, but for today, we're just going to name them trees because that's how I'm rolling today. All right, so they have like different backgrounds and patterns that you can put on your houses just like this. There's like a little herringbone right there. That was the leaves. This one is like a plaid. Um, let's see. Then this just says family, which you can put along the side of it. And then this one, I don't even know what you call this. Who knows what you would call this? Because that's the one we're using. And of course, that's the one that I can't remember the name for because I'm rolling with a hot mess today. So it also comes with two sayings. It is love makes our house a home and then home sweet home. We're not going to actually use any of that today. We're going to do something a little different. I saw this yesterday. I would love to be able to tell y'all that it was my idea, but it was not. So, but I'm totally going to steal it today. That's for sure. All right. So we're going to work with this. What do you call this one? I used to know the name of it, but I've forgotten. All right, so these are fabric. So what we're gonna do, everything that we do is about protecting this silkscreen transfer. So because it's silkscreen, it's fabric, and you have to protect fabric against stretch against the bias so that it doesn't warp the image. So what I do is I lift from the side, and then I walk my fingers over here to the middle. I'm gonna lift this transfer up. Now, I'm very careful, I do not peel back on my transfer. What I do is um, I gently separate the transfer from the backer sheet because if you pull back, you have a tendency to bend those fibers and those fibers have a memory so that when it gets wet and it dries, it's gonna dry in a curl and it's not gonna want to go back flat onto your backer sheet. And these backer sheets are reusable because these transfers are reusable. These transfers can be used eight to 10 times. There's an adhesive on the back that is really, really strong so that you are gonna get a lot of use out of them. So we're gonna lift this gently up. And then maybe I'm just blurry on my phone. Hold on, cause you know what? I hooked up to my Wi-Fi earlier so that I could print something from my phone. And I think that's what's going on. And it's driving me batty. I can't stand that. And I'm having a hot flash. What is up with me today? Hey, Rosemary, how are you? Right, it is a weird name and I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's not Marrakesh. I can't remember. Rosemary, do you remember what this design is called? She was a, um, she's a designer too, but I can't remember. It's not, I think it's called Marrakesh, but I could be wrong. Oh, good, good, all right. So now that I have this peeled back, I'm gonna get this close and I'm gonna show you. This is the adhesive back. It's very, very sticky. When I say these last eight to 10 times, for sure, they do. And we're gonna go over all that. But these transfers come on these backer sheets. One is, um, one side is super shiny. The other side is matte. You're gonna want to store your transfers on that super shiny side because it's not gonna stick to it. If you put it on the matte side, it's gonna start to peel that la those layers apart and you don't want that because it can ruin your transfer. So just make sure that you use that really super shiny side. Oh, Candice, you're the best. Thanks for sharing. And I do have a share giveaway today. So um, make sure, like, you're not supposed to say the word S-H-A-R-E-D. And um, everybody else says sprinkled, and I think that sounds stupid. So I have to find another word. Y'all drop the word, another word for that in the comments. Gift me to your friends on your uh, on your personal pages. How about that? Oh, thanks so much, Wendy. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is I'm taking this right here, this sticky side. I'm laying this down on a terry cloth towel. 
The reason I'm doing that is I'm picking up a fine layer of lint on the back of this adhesive so that when I put this transfer down on top of this surface, it's not going to stick so hard that I cannot get it up without stretching that transfer. Hashtag chalk. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, how are you, Kim? Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Okay. So, like I said, I am totally borrowing this idea from another designer. I fell in love with it yesterday when I saw it, and I was like, I have everything to make that, so I'm going to do it. We're just going to see how it goes. All right, so now that I have this fuzzed, I fuzzed it like two or three times because it's a brand new transfer. Okay, I'm going to lay this down. And I'm going to line it up. Now, because this silk screen is see-through, you can see if you have areas that are not, um, that are not going to work with the design. And you can kind of pick it up and move it around, which is really, really nice with these transfers. All right, so let me get this lined up. And usually it works for me. If I start at the point at top, and then just kind of work my way down. Okay. So now that I have it on, I'll tell you, everything is about not having an air bubble in your transfer. So what I do when I put these on is I push them down here and I go right at the center. Hold on, I see a comment down there. Oh, thank you, Candace. Yes, Hannah, this house is a brand new um, surface that comes out February 3rd. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to have to have like a million of them. Could you imagine if you're a realtor? What a great idea for these things. Okay, so I'm going to go right down the middle to secure that. And then what I do is I brush out from the middle after I have that middle put down. And then I brush out from the other side as well. Now, the reason I do that is so that I do not get any air bubbles in the surface because everywhere that's green is actually adhesive. So it's going to stick. So you're going to get nice, beautiful, crisp, cre um, crisp lines throughout your design, which is really, really nice. Okay. Now that I have this on here, I'm going to use the color. We got this um, color at Leadership as well. They are so cute. And wait till you see what I'm doing with this, Hannah. You're going to fall in love with it. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm trying not to burn myself because I have my glue gun right next to me, which is my cordless glue gun right here. This is my giveaway. This thing is fabulous. So if you have gifted me on your newsfeed to other people that might be interested in this, you're going to be entered in to win this glue gun. However, I will tell you, you're going to have to put down that you hashtag S-H-A-R-E-D in the comments um, because I won't see everybody that had shared. Oh, I just said the word. I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, hold on. Let me use my handy dandy can opener here, which is my teeth. And then what I'll do is I will go and I'll check your page. If I draw your name and you're the winner, I'll go check your page and make sure that you... Um, gifted that post onto your news feed to other people. So make sure that when you do that, that you are either friends with me, you can friend request me, my name is Nikki Godwin, or you make your post public because I can only verify that you gifted it to your friends if you make the post pub public. So make sure that you do because I don't want anybody to miss out if I draw your name because I'll be sad and you'll be sad. Okay. This color is called Juniper. Now, for a long time, because it doesn't have a label on it, because they gifted it to us at ChalkCon, nobody knew the name, or at um, Leadership, nobody knew the name of it. But I have recently found this out after I had to, you know, hunt it down. And now I know it's called Juniper, and I'm going to show it to you in the comment. It is this, or in the Thing there I can't even use my words today this is a 
beautiful, beautiful steely blue. Can you guys see that? It is absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Jen Johnson, how are you? It is so, so pretty. So the farmhouse look is really popular right now. The coastal look is really popular right now. And th this color goes with both of those. I'm gonna bring it closer because you have to appreciate this. Can you guys see it? It is so, so pretty. But it's called Juniper, and this is the color that I'm gonna use today. All right, let me throw this little plastic stir stick into some water. I always stir my paste with a plastic stir stick. Now the reason being, we have 38 different paste colors. Now these paste are water soluble, so they're gonna go on wet and then they're gonna dry smudge proof. And what's great about that is, I'll show you a design that we have before. So once this dries, it's gonna dry almost just like acrylic paint does, with the exception of when I get tired of this, I don't have to get rid of this surface. I don't have to buy new home decor. All I have to do is spray this down with water and let it soak in, and I can wipe this design away and change out my entire home decor easy peasy in a matter of minutes, and I don't have to go spend more money on surfaces. I just get to buy reusable silk screen transfers and water soluble chalk paste. So if you are a DIYer, this is right up your alley. Oh yeah, the cooler weather. Okay, I'm okay with the 60s. We already know this. Everybody knows my preference for it. This is not where I want it to be. I'm just gonna, just gonna redo it. And I can do that because that's part of the selling point. You can pick it up and move it. Okay. I'm like going for perfection here. I'm so type A personality when it comes to this stuff. Um, and usually I try to hide that on camera, but it, look, let's just be real. I am who I am. All right, so I have it in the middle here and I'm gonna smooth this back out. All right, so now I've got the wood. I can see by putting this on here, you can see right along the edges, everywhere that's white is the wood house. And I have that all covered up with the design, right? Let me check comments, make sure. All right, so now I'm gonna take one of our, oh, I didn't grab my back, my black chalk paste. What am I thinking? I am going to grab a small squeegee. This is a soft silicone squeegee. They're developed so that they're flexible so that they won't tear that silk screen transfer. It has a tapered end right here. That's the side that you're gonna put your chalk paste on. So all I do is I just load up a little bit of the chalk paste. Now it's important that your chalk paste is the right consistency. It needs to be the consistency of sour cream or Greek yogurt. If it's not the right consistency, say it's too thick, it's gonna dry on top of that um, silk screen. It's not gonna wanna go through there and you're gonna have a hard time because it's going to lift as you pick up this transfer and take it off of your surface and you don't want that. If your chalk paste is too runny, it's going to have a pop problem where it kinda wants to feather out into the grains of the wood you're using. So you just wanna make sure that it's the right consistency. Now I just opened this chalk paste so it's absolutely perfect. So I'm able to push this chalk paste through this silk screen just by holding my squeegee at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm pushing rather firmly and smearing this and then like dragging it across by just changing the direction of the way I'm holding that squeegee. It's really, um, it's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. It might take you a practice or two, but not more than that. It's really, really easy. And then once I have that design completely covered, I go back and I scrape off as much of that Chalkology paste as possible. And I just put that right back in my jar because I don't wanna waste it. I smooth this out too so that I don't have any lines going through that design because those can transfer sometimes whenever you're using 
the um, whenever you're pulling up the um, transfer. So now that I have this on here, I'm just going to walk this or rock it back and forth. I find that it releases easier from a surface when you do this, especially for new transfers that stick really well. All right. There we go. All right, so now I've got this off of the transfer. I'm gonna lay it face down in water so that that chalk paste does not dry on top of that silk screen area. I just have a little pan of water right next to me and we'll clean it up after, I'll show you how to clean the transfer after we're done with the project. Okay, so now I have that done. I'm gonna clean up the other side because I don't wanna waste it. And then I'm just gonna seal this back up. Now, if you are in a particularly um, dry area and an area that gets really, really hot, I recommend that you put a little mist of distilled water on top of your chalk paste before you close it up. It just helps to keep it that right consistency because it is water soluble. That water can evaporate out of there. This will keep your chalk paste nice and fresh a lot longer so and you won't have to add as much water when you go to use it does that make sense hey Barbara how are you you couldn't Wendy what hold on I was trying to click your name to see if it would bring you up but it didn't okay I will um I will find you don't worry okay look how cute that turned out I'm gonna get closer so y'all can appreciate it because I'm needy. Look how cute that is. Isn't that the prettiest blue? All right, we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna cut out the next piece to this design that I'm working on. So this is a really, really old transfer that I am fixing to use. I'm fixing to do it, so just hold on. All right, so I'm not gonna use the whole thing. All I want out of this transfer is like a circle. That's all I want out of there. So I'm not going to cut the whole thing. Does that make sense? Just gonna cut a piece off. Okay, so y'all are too quiet. So how, how's your day? How's your day been? Have y'all had a good day? I hope so. Drop it in comments. What if y'all? What are y'all doing today? Because this is my downtime. This is what I do for downtime. <laughs> this is in between my laundry and working out and paying bills and scheduling appointments and all that good stuff. This is my. This is my happy time. Besides watching me, what are you doing, actually? I guess I should clarify that, huh? All right. I should clarify that. So this is called the Blossom and Bloom transfer. I've had this transfer for forever. It is one of the very first transfers that I got because of course I joined in spring. And um, which if you didn't know, this is a direct sales company and you too can have your own business. If you want information on that, just message me and I will be happy to, um, to get, actually you can type in hashtag join and you're gonna get some messages or you're gonna get a messenger link from me. Hi Andrea, you can also just type in hashtag shop and you will get the information about um, to my website sent right to your messenger. So you don't have to worry about copying and pasting or anything. It's just gonna go straight to your messenger and you just click on it when you're ready. Okay, so I'm trying to let this dry because I don't wanna lift this up. But because I am going to use, it's gonna be smart today which is rare for me. Anybody that watches me knows that. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little wax on this surface 
right where I'm going to stick this transfer because I do not want this to pull up. And I'm just sticking my finger in this wax and I'm just kind of patting it down on top of it. Because that adhesive is so sticky, I don't want this to pull up. And it drives me nuts when it does. All right, let's do the next little section here, right? So who can guess? Have y'all figured out or did I tell you what I'm doing? I can't remember. I'm so like everywhere today. I probably didn't even tell y'all that I'm making a birdhouse. That's what we're doing. Which is probably why I kept saying tree before. Who knows? Oh, are you Norma? Oh, give him smooches from me. Look, I am looking forward to the day when I have me some grandbabies. I cannot wait. I love babies. I miss mine being little. There is just nothing like it. And little boys, they are just the cutest little things ever. Look at, I'm looking at mine right now. Cute, cutest little nugget ever. All right. So I've got this on here and I'm just going to stick this down and then I'm going to try not to move it. I did fuzz it. All right, let's see. I'm going to tap this down so that it won't move. It's not going to be, it's not a perfect circle. circle. It doesn't have to be but it's gonna look just like that for the little opening to the birdhouse. What do you guys think? He'll be a year next week. Oh, I just love it. Norma, have you made him all kinds of onesies and stuff? I know you're a designer, so you can do that. I would just smooch all over him. Is it an Italian thing that they used to like play bite? Is that an Italian thing? My husband's mother used to do that all the time and it used to crack me up. She'd like bite on them and stuff and they would just giggle and laugh and I'll I might just have to carry that over just for her. Ooh, this black is like been used for a while. Let me add some water to that. It has almost down. Bibs, oh, fantastic. Oh, that's right. You shared some, didn't you? I've seen that picture. I think it was you. All right. I mean, I've got to make sure. I've got to be better about checking comments. I'm horrible at this today. Normally, I'm pretty good. I was going to go um, live earlier. But I was running late, and I was running late because I slept in, and I slept in because I was up last night watching Mystic Pizza. That darn Julia Roberts gets me every time. Every single time. I just love her. Okay. And how many times has everybody seen Mystic Pizza? Like a million? Yes, definitely, Norma. Okay, so I'm going to use black, and I'm just going to put this straight in the middle. Now, when you're layering, the trick with layering, because these are water-soluble, so when you put a chalk paste on top of a chalk paste, it's going to tend to want to moisten that bottom layer. So you just need to get that on there, and you can't fool around a long time with it. You just need to get it on and like take it off or take the transfer off, so it doesn't lift up when you um, when you put it on there. So keep that in mind. All right. So there it is, right there, just a little like a little birdhouse. But then we got to put the top because it doesn't look like a birdhouse right now. But it will, I promise. All right. Oh, yeah. Mystic Pizza was like one of her very first movies, and it's it's like a cult classic from, from way back. From way back. Hannah, like, I'm old, so way back. <laughs> so, 
the old folks on here will tell you. It's a good movie. You should check it out. All right, so let's see how this is going to work. I'm going to dry this real quick. I should have brought my blow dryer, but I did not. Oh, we need to have a movie night or something, like a watch party. I I don't know what it is. I love I love watching those movies. Oh, and I caught Breakfast Club. Who's seen Breakfast Club? One of my favorites. But let's like my son's in the background going, me, me right here. I have classic. It's a classic, I tell you. Okay. I am showing my age. I'm sure y'all are like, what? What is this lady talking about? I promise. They're good movies. Just, you got to watch them. All right. So now, all we got to do is put this in here, right? So this is going to sit in this cute little pedestal stand because, hello, they fit in here. Is that not fabulous? Look at that. How cute is that for a shelf sitter? All right. Then, we're going to take our little gift tags. And we're going to put them as like house tiles onto this um, birdhouse. And it's going to be so stinking cute. So stinking cute. Okay. I just got to put some glue on here. Okay. So if you have um, sent this or gifted me in your news feed, because I can't say S-H-A-R-E-D because they're putting a lockdown on that, you're going to be entered to win this. So, I will announce the winner on Friday. And the way that I'm going to do this is, if you gift me to your friends during any of my videos this week, I am going to pick two winners to win that right there. So, but it's any of the... Um, it's any of the videos this week. So your name is gonna to go to into a drawing and then I'm gonna pick a winner. Oh, this is so cute, you guys. So I'm leaving the little holes up at the top and the reason I'm doing that is I can cover it with a bow if I want to. So remember, I use the color Juniper. This is a cordless glue gun. It is amazing. I mean, you can totally get one yourself if you don't um, win it in my little contest. So don't be sad. But I just got it on Amazon. Hold on. You can't see. <laughs> I have to put my glasses on. Living the dream over here. Living the dream. All right. Let's stick this in here. You can add a little heart to this. You could do anything you want. If you don't like the placement of your little roof tiles up here, just take, like, pop them off. It's just hot glue, so it's nothing serious. And then redo it. But this is how stinking cute it looks. I don't have the pen in it yet, so be careful. If you're doing that, there's like a little pen and you can draw into the back or draw a little, drill a little hole. That's what I'm trying to say. Good Lord. And then you've got a cute little birdhouse to sit up on your shelf. You could change out the ribbon for any season. You could put a pink one on here for Valentine's Day. You could totally redo this in green for St. Patrick's Day. Whatever you want. You could do this in black and white. I mean, we have 38 different colors of chalk paste. So you could totally redo this however you want. But I just saw this and thought, how stinking cute is this? And when the pin's in it, it's going to, like, stay. And you're not going to have to worry about it falling. But it is so stinking cute. You could add, like, a little bird up here. You can add all kinds of stuff to it. It is so, so cute. Wouldn't a bird be super adorable? Yes, you could. You could even like leave the hole over so you can tie something and have like a little charm hanging down here. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do with this. 
super cute, easy project. I mean, it didn't take us but a few minutes. And most of the time, let's face it, I was talking because I can be long-winded. And then you can get this done. But on February 3rd, you're going to want to pick up some of these, these fabulous little wooden tags. And you're going to want to get you the little house cutouts. Hopefully, you already have the pedestal stand. If you don't, pick that up too. These are super fabulous, cute little projects you can put in your home to dress up your shelves, to dress up your little counters, whatever you want. Little tchotchke sitting around the house really make it feel less of a house and more like a home. So I hope you enjoyed this project today. Don't forget, is that Devana? Don't forget to, um, don't forget to, oh my gosh, you did? Oh, good for you. Oh, thanks, Anna. So make sure you put hashtag shop in the comments. So you get the link sent directly to your messenger so that whenever you're ready to shop, that link is available to you. If you are one of my monthly subscribers, you can also, um, you know, you get exclusive tips, tricks, and deals, and steals, and things like that that are on the website just for you. Um, so if you are interested in finding out more about joining my monthly subscription, you get a B size transfer and three sample paste every month for $19.99. It's a fabulous deal. Um, and you get like exclusives on my website. So you can put hashtag club in the comments and then you'll be able to um, get all that information as well. If you're interested in becoming a designer, you can just type in hashtag join and you're going to get the link to um, you're going to get the link to join Chocotour right there. But real quick, I promised you guys I would show you how to clean up your transfer. So I'm going to do that real quick because it doesn't take long. Nobody likes cleaning, right? So you want it to be as easy as possible. So. I've got this little pan of water. This is just a toaster oven pan. It's nothing fancy. It's not like exclusive to Chalk Couture, nothing like that. So what you need to clean is basically some disinfecting wipes, water, and then I use my um, board eraser. They come two to a pack. They're absolutely fabulous. So all I do is I have these sitting in here upside down. I push it down to the bottom and I just scrape it on the bottom of the pan. Then what I do is I go over the front with that board eraser and then I go over the back. Remember to clean the back because we did put a good amount of lint on there and when anybody has ever called me and said, this doesn't feel as sticky as it was, it's usually because you didn't clean the lint off the back. So make sure that you do that. And I can usually kind of feel it if it still has fabric on the back of it. It doesn't, it's good and clean now. But I'm gonna show you how well these board erasers work. Um, work. Now remember, we used black Chalkology paste on this. I just cleaned it with that board eraser and look at that, look how clean that is. It really does take off a majority of that staining. So, um, which some people have a, a problem with the staining. I'm not one that cares too much because it doesn't really affect the use of the transfer. You're gonna get staining with some pigments anyway, but um, some people are not fond of it. So if that, if you are one of those people who just doesn't like it, make sure you pick up a board eraser. So I'm just using a Clorox wipe and I'm just wiping this paste away from these tools. This is my, um, this is my small squeegee that I'm using right here. Let me pick up another one. I like to get as much staining off my tools as possible. That's it. They come clean very easily. It takes you just a few minutes. Then what I do is I will leave these upside down to air dry. Once they're air dry, I like to go over the backer, um, the sticky part of the transfer with a Clorox wipe. So I kind of re-wet it and then I let it dry. Whatever is in those, um, is in those Clorox wipes really does make a huge difference for cleaning um, your transfer not only, but for also reactivating that adhesive.
do not ever use a baby wipe. A lot of people like to clean because Clorox wipes can be a little abrasive on your hands. Um, people like to use a baby wipe. The problem with that is baby wipes have an, a lotion or an oil in them. They do that so that they don't dry out a baby's skin. But the problem with that is it's going to leave a coating on the back of your transfer and then it's going to affect the adhesive on the back of it. So just make sure that you never use that on there. There is also something called water wipes. If you are just really against Clorox wipes, you can go in the baby section and they have what's called water wipes. You can grab those and they're literally just water. There's nothing else in them and you can use those. In fact, when I am demoing a lot at a show, that's typically what I use just because I cannot have my hands in Clorox all day. So I'm gonna move this pan out of the way and then I'm gonna show you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but down here at the bottom, can you see those clumps right there? So that's the actual lint that I had put on the back of the transfer. That's what I'm talking about, that you need to make sure that you clean those off because if you don't, your transfer um, is not gonna be as sticky as it was when you first got it and you want to get that full eight to 10 uses out of it that they promise. So just make sure that you follow the directions on the back of your packaging, that you really are um, taking care of your transfers, you're not stretching them, you're not putting um, oil and things on them, and then they're gonna last you that full eight to 10 times and then you can make loads of bird houses, like bird houses for dates. And I wanna see pictures if you do because I am a DIYer at heart and I love looking at other people's DIY projects. So make sure you share them with me because I love seeing them. Uh, thanks so much. That's it. That's it. That's literally how long it takes. Isn't that fabulous? So that's it. You're going to let this air dry. Then I'm going to stick it right back on that backer sheet. I'm going to put it right back in that plastic and that's how I store all my transfers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you gift it to your friends on their news feeds, on your personal feed, and then come back and put hashtag um, S-H-A-R-E-D so you get entered to win this fabulous little tool right there. And I will be giving that away on Friday and that is for gifting me at any point during the week during my lives. And um, Devonna was my big winner for last week, so congratulations Devonna. That's it you guys, I will see you later this week. Talk to you soon. Bye.